Hi guys, another day with nothing from the charity shops, so another Poundland bargain store project. Got a vibrating toothbrush here. Now, uh, back when I started doing YouTube videos, I used these quite often to make electric um, powered cars and boats. So, I'll take this apart so we can get to the motor and show you what we do with it. The reason I like these is, well for a start they come with a free battery. Um, they've got an on off switch on them, so we got battery, battery compartment, on off switch and electric motor all in one nice little package for a pound. You may notice the camera's in a slightly different position. I've got a different tripod up there at the moment. Not sure if I like it or not. So, just demonstrate. There's even a little rubber seal there, so that you should be able to drop it in the water and it should still survive. Uh, that way round. it on. So it's a vibrating toothbrush. Not a lot of good if you want to make a car out of it. Quite easy to make a little vibrating bug out of it. glue some legs to it and away you go. But what we want is the electric motor in there to do something useful. Just put your finger in, pull it out and what we've got there is a weight on the end of the motor that when it spins because it's offset that's what makes it vibrate. So we need to get that off so we can use it. And this block of wood I originally made so you could slide the motor in it, not with this bottom bit on it, but slide the motor in it, put that over there and just tap the end of the shaft and it should drop off. So we need to get this plastic bit off of here, there we are. So that's a good snug fit in the hole. So that's supporting the weight in that slot there. So I need to get something just the right size to hit the end of the shaft. All right, we'll zoom in a little bit. So I've got a nail. Hammer. Put the nail on the end of the shaft. go and in there is our electric motor. So we should be able to clip that back in place. Slide that back up in there, and it should 
still work. The only thing is, you can't tell it's working now because it's not vibrating anymore. Let's hold it against there. You can probably hear it vibrating now. Or spinning, anyway. So, that's got that in there. But that's still no good to us because we want to be able to get to that shaft. So we need to cut the very end of this off. Then you need a bit of plastic tubing, the right size. I'll just demonstrate with this bit because that'll make it easy. Now, if you want direct access to the shaft, then you have to cut it back a bit further. But I'm going to put a shaft on here, an extension, and use it to propel this boat. Another Poundland purchase. Outdoor fun. Beach playset, complete with tools. Got a spade in there. So I'm going to use a bit of insulation off of a piece of wire. You can get um, rubber as well, rubber tubing, that'll do the job. Slide it over the end of the shaft and then sh slide the other end over... where are we? A bicycle spoke or something. There's a short length, that's not long enough for what I want. And that one's a bit too long. A slightly tighter fit. Oh, how about that piece? Oh, yeah, that's better. I can shorten that, it doesn't need to be as long as that. But there is a benefit in having it reasonably long. Because you can go round a bit of a bend with it. You can't quite go all the way around there because the motor's not strong enough. But you can take up a bit of a bend so if you don't get your shaft quite straight, you can still spin it. So. What I'll do now, I'll drill a little hole in there, find a propeller of some sort, and mount that in there. Just hot glue it in place, I should think. Although if you do hot glue it in place, remember you want to be able to pull the end off to change the battery. So you might need to mount it off the bottom a little bit. So you can get your fingers around there and pull it off. The boat itself has got little plastic clips all the way around it so you can get the deck off it. So I'm 
Okay, so you want it up a little bit so you can get to the end of the battery compartment. Down through there, propeller. Right, propeller, what can we use for a propeller? I could make one, I'll put a link in the video description to me making propellers. I'm pretty sure um, I took apart a lint, a lint, um, what's it, lint remover, fuzz buster. Right, I knew I'd seen it somewhere. That's out of a lint remover or a fuzz buster. It won't be a very efficient propeller, but it'll do for what we want. The only question is will it spin the right direction? Spin in the right direction for us. Like I say, it won't be very efficient, but we're only playing with this in the bath, aren't we? Alright, we're nearly ready. So we've got the propeller there, the motor, which we need to stand up a little bit, as I say, so we can get to the end of it and replace the battery if we need to. So I'll put some packing under here. bit of foam or something like that, I can cut that to shape. But that does mean that's going to stick up too high for the bottom of the decking here, where the seats in that are. So I'm going to have to cut this out so that it can fit in there. might be easiest just to cut a big slot right out the middle and in that case we'll even be able to reach the switch to switch it on and off from inside the knife might do it I think what I'll do is I'll cut it with a saw first and then trim it with the knife. Yeah, that should be all right. A bit of hot glue. Right, that's the general idea. A bit of hot glue. See if the hull, hull, see if the decking fits in place with that big hole in it. Okay. That works out quite well for me. 
Obviously it's not entirely waterproof, but I'm not too worried about that. If it sinks, it's only going to sink in the bath, or maybe in a small pond. Got some water in the bath. The boat is floating, which is always a good sign. Let's see if we can actually switch it on with one hand. That might be a problem. Oh, there we go. Like I said, that's not a very efficient propeller. There will be a link in the video description. So you can see where I got that from, from a lint remover. And there will also be a link in the video description to show you how I would normally make a propeller. And my camera has problems when I'm filming in the bath here, it tends to lose focus. So I may have to edit out the bits where it's lost focus. But that's our Poundland Beach Play Set, or whatever it was called, the boat, and the Poundland Vibrating Toothbrush. Other shops sell the same sort of stuff. Certainly those vibrating toothbrushes, I've seen them in lots of different shops. If you wanted a bit more control over it, you could always add a rudder at the back there so you can make it go in circles. Not much point in the bath here. So you can get a close up of that propeller going. Some water on the lens then. That wasn't clever. Anyway, that's it. Job done. Another bargain store project.